Hello everyone, this is Sean from AI Strategies. Hope you guys are doing well today. Today I have a great video. Today's video, I'm gonna be going over how to make a full length presentation for work, class, or whatever you have to do within Google Slides with an AI tool and ChatGPT as well, of course. So in this tutorial, I'll be going over a free way to actually complete a full presentation uh, and I'll show you guys step by step how to do it. So make sure you guys leave a like and watch the whole way through I'd really appreciate that. So with that being said, let's get right into it Don't want to waste any time here. So we got this application that I found called uh, Magic slides. It's in the Google workspace marketplace Google workspace marketplace. That's a tongue twister and uh, Yeah, you can just install it. It is free and you will actually get I believe so this app allows you, yep, three free um, presentations fully uh, created by AI. And of course, you guys know that if you create another account, you guys aren't stupid that you can get three more free presentations for free using AI. So, I mean, it's just basically unlimited if you really think about it, if you're willing to go through the steps of making another Google account, which I'm sure you guys are, or if you guys don't care and you rather just pay for it, then I'll leave a link to that as well. Um, so, so I'll leave a link up uh, to the uh, magic slides app, but you can also just look it up. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a little presentation really, really quickly with uh, uh, chat GPT and the magic slides app. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into it. So the first uh, project that I want to do is uh, different car engine types. Uh, I thought that would be somewhat interesting for my fake presentation. So we got the magic slides app. So what you would actually do is open the extensions here and then you would see add ons. Um, and then you would click the magic slides app right here once you have downloaded the magic slides um, application. And once you are in Google uh, uh, slides you just hit open and it will pull up to the sidebar right here from there what you do is you type in your topic um which it would be car engine types and then for reference text basically what i did was just ask chat gpt what are the different car engine types here's our full list of a description of all of the different car engine types and i just uh you know went over here and I copied it and then I went into the reference text right here as you can see and I pasted the whole th entire thing in there so hopefully hopefully that's enough information for it to create a seven slide presentation uh, you can also do up to 10 I think if you pay more then you can do more slides but uh, 10 is pretty good. Normally, I don't really have any presentations uh, that are more than 10 slides, especially if I'm in a group. Normally, it's like three or five. Um, but um, yeah, for the instructions, it's also optional. Both of these are optional for some reason. I don't know how that works. I mean, I would honestly just put you know, more information than less because then it, you'll just get more of an accurate presentation uh, with the AI. So for the instructions, all I did was put create a colorful, interesting and engaging presentation for my work project on uh, car engine types. So that's all of I did. That's basically it. And then in the summary here, I didn't put anything for this reference text. It also says do not use reference text input as ChatGPT. You're not prompting the um, the magic slides app. Uh, you're just putting in the information that you want to uh, for it to create a presentation on so you do need to have some of the information already So uh, whether you get that from a book or ChatGPT, it doesn't really matter Just put it into the uh, reference text in the text part and then uh, you can go on to color and font So in here, this is really just your choice uh, for this. You can do basically whatever you want uh, they have a few different uh, styles here. They have three different templates. Um, we're going to try out the Midnight Sun. And they got a bullet point style or you can do a numerical style. You got a uh, title font for this one. Let's do uh, e Open Sans. That's pretty funny. Um, and then for our text color, we're going to do black. I don't know why it was in white. And then uh, body font will also do uh, <laughs> open sans uh, and then uh, background color text color I don't really care and then from there 
what we're going to do is hit generate also you can also toggle with these two replace existing slides i mean i don't have any existing slides and then images for each slide you're going to want images for each slide if you make a good presentation so uh yeah so we're generating our presentation now it looks like we got a little timer down here in the corner it says 96 seconds so it's going to take about a minute or so minute and a half to create and i'll catch up with you guys when it's all done all righty so we got our presentation all done that took actually less than uh, a minute honestly uh but wow this first slide is not great all right and that's kind of my fault i chose <laughs> i chose that black text when it really should have been white um but it did create a full presentation and if you just have to edit a, a few things about the presentation i feel like that's not a big deal i also picked the goofiest font that i could possibly imagine i'm so sorry about that i i you know whatever but Regardless, the, the actual presentation is good. Look, I mean, look, we got an internal combustion engine. It, it basically just took this and then put it into the slide form, which I mean, you could do on your own, but hey, that would take at least 10 minutes. This took one minute. So think about that for a second. Um, and uh, it put bullet points and uh, it added photos as well, which is nice. Uh, you got all of the different um, motors that I wanted to talk about and with an image uh included with it and it actually you know the, the theme is not bad it just it, it's it's pretty basic the font is kind of my fault but it, there is a little nice yellow line at the top it, it it's better than completely flat one color uh type uh, presentation i'm sure if i mess with it a little bit more i can make it look even neater but uh yeah honestly for what it is and how fast it did it and the actual amount of effort that I, I put into this uh you know it did a great job uh <laughs> so i'm actually pretty highly impressed with this uh presentation it did a great job honestly um so yeah that's pretty much the presentation it got done really quickly i feel like if i had to do this presentation on my own uh, it might have took me 30 minutes 45 but with this ai tool um it just took me like literally a minute and a half and uh you know all i had to do was look up what are the different engine types copy it put it into the magic slides app uh edit some of the color and font and text and add some reference text and instructions for the um project i mean the slideshow uh and boom it, it made a presentation i made a good one i'll leave a link to the magic slides app if you guys pay for it please use my link i have an affiliate i would really appreciate that your boy needs some money and um i'll leave a, i'll also put in the descriptions my instructions for the uh the google slides uh for the magic slides app just in case you want to use my instructions obviously don't put in a uh, project for car engine types because then it will think that you're doing it about car engine types but for the reference text uh put your own stuff look it up in chat gpt literally just paste it and boom you're good and uh, yeah, it actually does a pretty good job about selecting photos as well. Uh, for the, they're all corresponding. This is a hybrid. You got the combustion engine. You got this cool image that represents electric motors. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for today's video, guys. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys use this tool to your advantage and save some time while working on some presentations because everyone hates making them. It's true. And uh, yeah, please be sure to leave a like. Hope you guys learned something. Subscribe if you like AI type content and to learn some more tools and tutorials on how to use AI uh, tools. That's what the channel is about. So subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.